Hello, and welcome to another late night stream. Is it just me or did I say hello really weird? <laughs> Anyways, I'm your host Monstropolis aka Mons, and today we are playing more Persona 5 Strikers for the PS4 on a PS5, available on Switch and Steam. Uh, last time we got a few more trophies in our playthrough and that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, we finished the main gameplay so we are just trophy hunting until we 100% complete this game, uh, at least in the way that Atlas and Sony have agreed to with the trophy system. So two more until we get the platinum, uh, and it might be a while. So some good conversations to be had on this stream. I hope everyone here is doing well. Hello Crystal and hello Endo Mike. How are you both? How are your fine evenings going so far? Finally someone that's not streaming Raz, yeah, yeah, Crystal. I mean, I'll be streaming Raz tomorrow. I gotta tell you something, Crystal. I gotta tell you something. Now that you're here. Um... Oh, oh, I'm not even typing in the right place. So, uh, desperately trying to avoid spoilers until my copy shows up? Me too, me too. Uh, we're in the same boat. However, uh, same boat but different speeds. Uh, my copy of Rise from Amazon is scheduled to release uh, or to be here on uh, a Wednesday. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna cancel that and just find it somewhere else. Hello Quill, welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you also trying to avoid spoilers until it is your turn to get your grubby hands on the game? Well, that sucks, man. Yeah. Well, I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating the game to be delivered sooner. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I think what they just and uh, what they just did was give the worst case scenario um, with how late it's going to be here. No. So. You're, you're all for the spoilers. You're all for it. Anyways, let's get this game on the sh stream. Stream? Screen? Same thing, but different. Um, I gave the nuggies. Um, also, Endo Mike. Uh, not more than I have already, so generally, no for other than stuff not revealed in trailers. Fair enough. Not the Nintendo Direct. Uh, I was trying to. I was. I wanted to watch it, but I. I wanted to also skip through the Monster Hunter bits. So I mean, I just kind of did this, and I muted it. And because I had muted it, I didn't know how long uh, it was, and I saw some stuff I didn't want to see. So whatever. Um, but yeah, Endo Mike, since you're here. Um, oh wait, wait. Um, all that's left for affiliate is to input my payment method or payout method. So uh, when I finish selecting which one makes the most sense for me, uh, I'm gonna DM you. Have you been blind to Rise info this whole time? Uh, just the first trailer. Uh, unfortunately, I have seen like I've seen like um, some screenshots, um, some other monsters, and. Um, like a little bit of gameplay uh, from like Twitter accounts I follow so 
as I saw them, I just had to like <laughs> mute, mute, mute. <laughs> So needless to say, when I start playing the game, uh, I will have to unmute all those accounts again. Anyways, I figured out yesterday, when we were getting pounded so hard, that I do have to play New Game Plus. However, I do not have to play on Merciless mode. Hell yeah. So we're gonna start a new game, again. Uh, new Game Plus, but regular difficulty. Just so we can get through everything a lot faster. I'll watch all the official info, but I want to give a full experience myself, so I'm not watching people playing the game. Fair enough, me too, me too. That's exactly the kind of experience I want to have for myself as well. And everyone gets to watch Anime Sans streaming. through the text here because it's not important. I'm so glad we're not going to get one shot anymore. That is a uh, good feeling. Look at that, look at that. We're just mowing these guys down like nothing. Like nothing. Crystal, I don't know if I asked you this already. I'm pretty sure I did. Which means I forgot. Which means I could have done a better job remembering. But either way, um, what weapon are you going to use mainly in your playthrough of Rass? I'm, I'm sure I asked you this. I just forgot. I apologize. IG, right. I feel like a lot of people who I ask are either doing uh, Insect Blade or Charge Blade. Maybe some Bow? Great. Do you know if Bow... Uh, yeah, it probably is. It probably is like World Ice Bone. I'm just gonna call it World Bone. Uh, it's most definitely... Oh wait, I have to use it. But yeah. I'm sure it's the the world world born bow. Yeah. Good morning, motherfuckers. Ardam, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Did you end up catching any dubs? Welcome, raiders. I'm sure all of you know who I am. Uh, I am Monstropolis, aka Mons, and I usually stream rhythm games and RPG s games. And today we're playing Persona 5 Strikers, which is not an RPG game. It is a hack and slash. Anyways. Welcome stats. Welcome a big sexy Perico. How is you? Congrats on affiliate. Thanks. I mean I hit affiliate a while ago, it was just kinda like I was just sitting on it. But uh there's one step left and after that it'll become official official and I will be doing a giveaway to celebrate. A pretty good one at that, I would say. It's World Bow, but it's a little harder to combo if that makes sense. I won't say why, but I think it needed a change and makes me excited to play the Rise Bow. Okay, okay. That makes sense though. I mean, I'm aware of the, the extra battle mechanic, uh, which I will not speak just in case. But, um, yeah, that sounds interesting. I'm actually interested to see how Lance is going to play with all that as well. Congrats on the Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I honestly couldn't do it without you guys, and that's that's 
that's why I'm doing the giveaway that I'm going to do. Cash Void's not feelings. Perico. Only when only when you have the money bags ready can you start talking about flights with Crystal, alright? Let's make that clear. <laughs> okay, blaze through this this text. Uh whatever. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what I say. Damn, I wish I had a group chat that popped off like that. <sighs> Skip. I don't need a giveaway. I see the Hakka dinner date. Oh, I'm gonna be giving away my feelings. If if that happens. <laughs> but hey, for realsies, Perico. Whenever it is you make your back uh make your back way here. Your way back here. Um uh, yeah, I'm down for some some Federics, man. We'll do it up. Wing piece, uh, are you our damn dead? Uh I cannot confirm or deny that. Also, welcome. How are you doing? Oh, more enemies. Digital for Rise? No, I'm gonna go physical. When it comes to video games, um, I will always, always take physical over digital. If possible. Fan service. But welcome, Wing Peace. Also, Ardam, where the hell are you? This guy raided me and, and probably went to the washroom. Ardam had a bad night on Warzone. He's down bad. So... What you're telling me is, uh, he had a regular day. Oops. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hello everyone. Tracks are welcome. How is you doing? Tracks are, I figured out we don't have to actually play on Merciless difficulty. Uh, we just had to start the Merciless difficulty playthrough. Other than that, we can... We can play on normal to do all the, all the other stuff. Okay, well, good. Glad to hear. Prefer physical too. Often use cases as well art. And there's a certain feeling I get from walking out of a store with a game in hand that I don't get from digital download. Absolutely crystal. See, Crystal, crystal gets it, guys. Crystal gets it. Sometimes just too inconvenient to go to a store. That that is also true. That is also true. That's good to hear. Yeah, we won't be getting one shot today. Oh, I can skip this. Speedrun strats. Sadato. Yeah, I get that crystal. I'm the same way. I want physical because um, wall art. Uh, and there is a different feeling when you actually have the physical game. But also, in the event that uh, I decide to delete, or for some reason the game gets deleted off whatever system, uh, and then it, it is no longer available on the eShop, I will still have access to my game. And in the rare event that I am done with the game, I can let someone else borrow it. I can sell it. I can trade it. There's just so much more things you can do. 
with physical media. Oh, I can't skip this. No, come on. Please. Wow, there is a lot of story in this game. I didn't realize, or actually I did realize, but I didn't realize it was, it was... Oh wait, is this anime? What? おい、おい、冗談だろ。お。ん?あいつらさっき7050に is Capel's favorite scene. どうなってんだよ。考えてる暇はないようだぜ。突破するぞ。ジョーカー、疲れ。やりゃいいんだろ、やりゃ。I can hear this awesome track again. Look at that. Look at the difference from yesterday to today. These guys are just melting. Persona Wizard Rocks? Hell yeah, Crystal. It's so good. Especially Persona 5. The best one in the series, in my opinion. Guys, I have a question. What is the best way to do a giveaway? I was thinking of... Uh, Random RNG. There's, there's got to be certain requirements, though, for somebody to enter. Like they obviously need to be following the stream or the channel, and they got to be following on Twitter. And then like. Maybe, um, maybe other things will constitute as more entries to, to vote, or not vote, more entries into said giveaway. Twitter finna pop off. Hella better, it's a pretty sweet giveaway if I do say so myself. Subscribe on YouTube? Subscribe on YouTube could be like, uh, another entry into the giveaway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we're supposed to escape. I was like, why aren't we killing these guys? Skip. Skip. Oh, 
Oh, where's Kapow? Where's Kapow? This is his favorite scene. I'm not gonna skip it just in case he's near. If it's not too difficult, difficult maybe H1 would be an entry. Because some people wouldn't be able to do multiple platforms. Hmm. That's true. Well, the main thing I want is... Or the main requirement I... I... I think it's like a must-have is you should be following the channel. But that might be hard to keep track of. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm thinking like is there some website that can track all that for me? Or am I gonna have to like Google spreadsheets this thing? At the end of the stream, if anyone is still here, I'll let you know what I'm giving away. <laughs> yeah, will they be able to ch to track like the multiple entries? That's true, that's true. That's why I want to hear your feedback and opinion because I'm trying to figure out like what is the best way to go about this. What? How can I make it accessible for... Ex as accessible as possible for people but also utilize it as a tool to grow uh, the channel. I remember that site from trying to join giveaways. Interesting, I'm gonna have to check that out. Oh. <laughs> Endomic, insert your Photoshop job here. <laughs> oh jeez, this is the screen cap right here. There's a giveaway feature in stream elements, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out as well. I just want to find out the best one um, that is gonna fulfill both of those things uh, to make it accessible and to grow the channel. But I'm definitely gonna have to check out both of them. The uh, Gleam, was it Gleam? Gleam.io and Stream Elements. People entering using command on Twitch chat. You can leave it open for as long as you want, allow people who can't make every stream tempter. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, Crystal, do you know if that feature also allows me to restrict that to people who are followers? Versus just before, maybe ask him? I think I will. Uh, I just don't want to catch him at a bad time. I know he's really busy, especially with his, his wedding coming up. I don't want to add more to his plate. I mean, I don't have a problem looking into it myself. Uh, sure, we'll save. We'll make a new one. I believe it does, but I never look at myself. Okay. So far, that is a front runner. Because I, I do want to make it accessible for as many people, and I want. Um, I want twi uh, Twitch. I was going to say Twitter. I want Twitch to be the most um, prominent one. Prominent form. Like, you, you absolutely have to be a Twitch follower. Okay. Congrats, Riz. Yeah. It's crazy. He, he proposed and he's getting married in like less than six months in between, which is insane, man. Especially in like this climate that we're in. Not to say that it's impossible, but you know. I 
Let me put the question in hardware and tech chat and sell my answer. I'll do that too. The only issue with that, Crystal, is like I don't want to make it come off as like I'm being scummy and like I'm just using, uh, I'm just using it to to grow my stuff and and you know I don't want to have complications like that because uh, that's not what I'm trying to do and I don't want people to misunderstand. Self promotion? Yeah, probably self promotion. Oh. That was super fast. Shout out to speedrun strats. I'm just so grateful. We don't have to or we're, we don't have to play on merciless difficulty because that was that was something else. Those are just melting. Well, I guess this they should. This is a new game plus. So that, the power of the power of the power of the power why the start over? Um, like, why am I playing New Game Plus? Uh, it's the only way we can get the rest of the trophies in this game. <laughs> oh, I have to use my gun? But yesterday, when I started New Game Plus Crystal, I started on Merciless Difficulty. The hardest difficulty setting, and we were just getting one shot left and right. It did not feel good. Like, right now, only took about like 20 minutes to get to this point. Yesterday, it took about a couple hours. No joke. Yikes indeed. <laughs> Super yikes. Oh, we're gonna have to fight these guys anyways. There's no way around them. <clears throat> that was completely unnecessary. But game told us we needed to do it. I just noticed it says, Welcome to Alice's Wonderland. Mr. Streamer, be paying attention. So what are you going to do tomorrow, Crystal, to, to fill in the time before your copy of Rise comes in? Just like pace back and forth, close to the door, <laughs> waiting for the, the delivery person to come. Because that would totally be me. Some ground school stuff for fly training. Oh, wait. Do you do you have like homework for that? 
or just kind of like um, brushing up on things you, sh you should know. Some Minecraft, hell yeah. You know, I've never played Minecraft myself, but just recently I kind of started to get a little curious about it. Who's in test from the FAA? I'm sure you'll ace that, no problem. No problem. If anything, I feel like uh, you're the type of person to, to overstudy for something like that. Which is not a bad thing. Skipping all the dialogue. Oh, I love Yahoo. this song. Nyahoo! There it is. Thank you, Traxler. And the ground school teaches uh, you what you need to know for the test, as well as how to operate the airplane, safety procedures, calculate stuff for navigation. Oh, damn! You gotta like calculate stuff on the fly. That is wild. I love this song, guys. I know I said that already, but I really do. Prior to the flight? Oh. That makes sense. I guess you would have to do some calculations if something went wrong. Knock on wood. Oh, we're supposed to talk to Futaba. Oops. Using E6B, which is effectively a more complicated slide rule. Hmm. I know nothing about that. This is the scene, isn't it? This is the scene. から、ジェイルに潜入する覚悟はいいか。何度も通った道だ。今更おじけづく理由はない。ここ、ここってこい。情報も少ないし、慎重に行きましょう。今回はまず偵察ね。I thought I was past this. Hold on, the camera angle has to change though. Crystal, don't judge me, please. うちの天才ハッカーはやっぱ違うわ。プリーズ。ハッカー関係ないから、ではそれくらい調べとけ。あとは安全に入る方法だけど。昨日脱出してきた場所なら敵はいない。その場所の近くまで移動して、キーワード
Yep, and there it is, folks. There it is. There it is. This is definitely this is definitely it. One hundred percent. Interesting. Interesting. No shame. No shame. You really are ready for this. I mean, I committed. I committed. No regrets. Okay. I don't remember. Thank you for that. You're welcome, Trackstar. Remember, guys, I'm here for your entertainment. I'm also, I'm also big on nostalgia, so I mean, um, that was kind of nostalgic for me. You made my night. <laughs> You're welcome, Traxar. I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as I have. I tried to rec recreate it faithfully. But as you can see, I am not one of the almost 200 people who have viewed that clip. So, yeah. My humidifier just leaked all over the place. Oh no, I don't mind. What kind of humidifier do you have? Because I'm using one too. I don't know if you guys can see like the uh, the fog or anything like that that's coming down. But I am using one. Costco? Of course it's Costco. Why don't why why don't we even ask? <laughs> I can skip this. Homatics brand. So how did you... how did it... how did it... Um, how did it spell? Imagine leaving a place where you would believe me put moisture in the air? So the... I'm, I'm guessing with that I was just about to say you... you it is the humid kind of heat with a dehumidifier? Oh my lord. That is crazy. Damn, Crystal. I didn't know it was like that for you. That's wild. You know, strangely enough, I don't need my humidifier when it gets hot here in Canada. Well, I mean, if you've been living in, in Florida for your whole life, Crystal, you're, you're probably used to it, right? Is this another one for Kapow? Endo Mike, you know what to do. I'll give you about 30 seconds. 
hot air holds more, more moisture than cold air, so you have less of a need for a humidifier? Yeah. Yeah. You're right there, Crystal. You're right. You are correct there. And that's why a lot of people get uh, more sick in the wintertime in Canada. Or wintertime anywhere. Endomike? 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 What are we adding this one? I don't know. I'm just thinking like instead of Alice's manager, you could just put Kapow. And then instead of Ga, you could put Ga. <laughs> or would one of one of these things better? Or one of these screens be better? Doesn't matter anyway. I don't want to as I go down. Yamete. Yamete. Oh wait, you're in it? Oh shoot. Oh wait. Uh... Hold on. Is it gonna- is it gonna back? Clip? Uh oh. <laughs> I guess I gotta say that's pretty faithful to the original. <laughs> I gotta say that's pretty faithful to the original. Good job, me. Edit it out. I'm sure it's no problem for you. You work, you work fast. HD remaster, pretty much. Okay, we can skip all this. Actually, we can just skip the whole thing altogether. We saw what we needed to see. Now we gotta go find out that. The doctor is no longer in town. I kind of miss hearing cicadas. She mellowed stuff because of the voice feature? Yeah, Crystal mentioned that. And she also mentioned that um, it may be possible to limit people, um, limit it to just followers. And I really hope that's the case. We have them everywhere here, it gets so loud. Really? Okay. <laughs> I take that back though. Oh? Okay. Yes! Okay, can we... Can we finally... Can we finally get the final Pokemon? Can we finally get the final Pokemon? Of course we have to get Ma Mara. Of course we need Mara. And Metatron. Are they active during the night, Crystal? Oh. oh my god, we'll be able to do this. Hell yeah. Evening? Just the evening? So you can get a like uh, a peaceful night's nice rest, right? It's usually for a short time when they're breeding. Oh my god, is that what the sound is? They're breeding? It's the sound of them breeding? Oh jeez, Monka S. Monka S. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I take that back then. Also, uh, just to forewarn you, Crystal, um, 
this monster or persona we have to summon is definitely not PG-13. Definitely not PG-13. I just want to give you the heads up so you're not too shocked. Kapow, welcome brother. How are you doing? Okay, alright. Now that you are aware, I'm, 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 I'm kind of... Kapow, you have amazing timing. You entered the stream just as I'm about to... to get Amaro. Alright, we only have to look at it one more time. Wait, why can't we... Oh, we're not high enough level yet? Okay, that's why. Okay, so we have to grind until level 90. So five more levels? It's interesting, yeah. Yeah, I remember the first time I had ever seen it. I was, uh, I was taken aback. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, are, are we gonna, are we gonna have that as another, um, like command? <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do? Head to LeBlanc. Yeah, Kapow, now that you're here, tell me. What did you- what have you done to your sleep? What have you done to your sleep this time? Isn't it pretty faithful to the original? I think it was pretty good. Military <laughs> I forgot how many times in the beginning of this game you hear this song. You know what? I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh, it's this part. Crystal was here for this too. Is this even legal? I remember this? I hope so. It was very, uh, it was very sus because we didn't know what they ordered. Oh, <laughs> it was an expedited return. <laughs> no? What happened, Traxor? Hmm. 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 It stuttered? Oh, okay. I thought something went wrong. I thought we were about to head into another commercial break. Good job. Where <laughs> Is it even possible to buy gold bar? If so, where would you go to find or where would you go to buy one? Cancel. Cancel be we I'm having someone set up PC stuff. Ooh, exciting. No worries, Kapow. 
Governments use them as bank currency? So theoretically, could you... Could you get one from the bank? Is it even possible legally, but very difficult? Interest. I mean, not like I'm ever going to do it, but that's, uh, that's interesting to know. And of course, anything is possible on Dark Web. Yeah, anything. Literally anything. Kind of scary. Okay,じゃあ何でも変えるように手配する。ソフィアショップオープンだ。いろいろあったけど、結果はオーライかな。ああ、これで準備できそうだ。ジェイルの中で何が起きるかわからねえ。しっかり備えていこうぜ。I kind of want to learn how to how to play that. It seems easy enough. At least just like the the organ portion of the song. Mimius completus, you are so fast and oh my! I don't know, I I don't understand it. I don't understand. No comprende. Oh, one thing I'm very grateful for right now, guys, is there will be no more tutorials. Hell yeah. At least I hope there's no more tutorials. I'm gonna be very upset if there's more tutorials. A little easier for this one since I already had the text laid out. Nice. Where do we go? That's so far. Uh, don't mind if I do. Alice has the best uh, jail music, and it's not even close. I haven't seen them show up. It should be good. <laughs> Haven't seen what show up tracks are. What? Did I say something? The tutorial. Oh, okay. I was like, I was kind of, I was kind of worried there for a while. I was like, who, who is showing up? Twitch staff. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Gonna violate the terms of service with uh, with Alice over here. I'm kidding. I looked it over. It doesn't violate the, the terms of service. And surprisingly, there's a lot of like. I know I said this last time, but I'm still surprised the sheer amount of booby games that you're allowed to play on stream that aren't on the prohibited list. Wild. Wait, you're restarting the game uh the same bit over and over again no we're we're playing like the actual story from the beginning again just like new game plus is like we're we're already past the part that we tried to get over from the last stream um during uh merciless difficulty so that was hella fast. Ah, do we have to? I don't want the treasure. I just want to progress level. Oh wait, 
I can use whoever I want now, right? What am I doing? Yeah, I can use everyone now. Hell yeah. Stats. Uh, you, you. And you. Thank you. It keeps buffering? Is that just... Is that on my end too? Is it buffering for anyone else? I remember the last time we were here, Endo Mike said it was uh, buffering like crazy. I don't notice any buffering. Hmm. It didn't they didn't uh, didn't Twitch introduce a feature where uh, you can kind of like turn down the transcoding or whatever to make it a little smoother? Probably my end. Okay. Well, it's good to know. Um, just because I know this area is like. It's possible for it to happen in this area. The other day I kept buffering, but I think it was my end. Interesting. Dude, that was so easy. Okay, where are we supposed to go? Okay. Oh wait, this way. This way, I remember this part. It still trips me out that s certain sections of c certain sections of this game. Um, are like platforming sections like this. Wait, what? I mean, I guess we're here. We open the chest. Why not? Did she say mons? I could have sworn I heard her say mons. Skip that. Slide down here. Okay. What is a good amount of time to hold a giveaway for? Wait, can I just drop down? Two weeks? I mean, we could do two weeks. I don't know if the person who wins is going to be willing to, to wait the two weeks for what the giveaway is going to be, but that sounds like a fair amount of time though. Definitely not like a, a few days. Oh, we gotta go back into the waterway? I mean, I guess I would know what we were doing if I was paying attention to the story. Oh. 
しかしまた大事件か。Have you guys ever won anything via a giveaway? I don't think I've ever won anything. <laughs> Aside from like the pickle weapon on r i s h r e d o s shoe. I don't know if that counts. It's not even a giveaway. Because you're not giving away. You, you, I guess he's giving away his, his, his opportunity to choose the weapon, but it's not the same. I wonder if you could speed this,、uh, speed run this game in like、um, 10 hours? 10 hours or less, maybe? Not that I'm gonna attempt it. Just wondering out of sheer curiosity. I didn't even know the battle was over. Any percent is four and a half hours for this game? Interesting. Hmm. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I mean, especially now that I, I know how to play the game properly. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I'm actually kind of blown away. Four and a half hours. Again, plus percent is three hours and 20 minutes. Oh, wow. I'm back and I just found out FF10 and 10 2. I'm s o r r 10 and 10 2, Capo, go on sale very often. They go on sale very often,、um, and so does Final Fantasy XII. Those are pretty easy.、Hmm. I wonder if I should attempt that one day. But I feel like it's a. I guess it goes with any. any、uh, speedrun.、Um, Take some learning, some practice. Where is this thing I jump off of? 80% hard is 7 hours. That's still freaking fast. Forgot I had mute on? What do you mean? Oh, like you mute my audio? New game plus Merciless is 4 hours and 23 minutes? How though? I don't understand. I bet, I bet the person who has that time is a Japanese middle schooler. I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna get some sleep. Have a good night. Quill,、cool. thank you again for stopping by. Much love and respect. Hope you have a respectful sleep.、Uh, and I hope you get to enjoy Rise tomorrow and have a great time with it.、Uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Because the runs are so dang fast. Yeah, New Game Plus, well, you get to carry over everything. 
Um, I guess if you build your personas the right way, uh, you'll have like really good skills to kind of just kind of mow through the enemies. Um, what else? You also have like the best equipment. You can prepare for it too by you know stocking up on all the healing items and stuff like that, recovery items, reviving items, stuff like that. So I can kind of see it. I'm just still kind of amazed that, like, wow, people can actually play on Merciless and not die like me? <laughs> Is possible? Because let me tell you, Crystal, when we played Merciless yesterday, it was not a good time. It was not a good time. Literally, if you weren't paying attention to just, like, one thing, or a certain enemy, one shot. Just melt it. That was real fast. What? What the fuck? I'm making they found some sort of super broken belt. Oh, for sure. Something that like really exploits uh, a certain mechanic. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense because playing merciless was not fun. <laughs> It was more annoying than playing Demon Souls. Using only a shield. Yeah, yeah, no. Here we go. That playthrough was hard, but we finished it. Crazy, crazy enough to so finish that playthrough. Be right back. Take your time, Endo Mike. It's like, how is on going so fast? And she was on a mo uh, motorcycle. She was on a skateboard. Have you guys ever tried skateboarding? I remember trying to get into skateboarding. All because of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I bought a skateboard, but I wasn't really good at it. Needless to say, I got nowhere with it. I didn't even learn how to do the basic of basic tricks, the ollie. I've used to push scooter though? Yeah, I've used to push scooter as well. I haven't either. Fell on my ass too many times. Welcome back, Lindo Mike, maybe? I'm a scooter kid now? Same thing. Do people still use those like automated scooter things? What are they called? Hoverboards? I guess they're not really scooters though. But do people still use hoverboards? <laughs> I remember seeing my neighbor use them when those were popular and it was hilarious. I see them every once in a while. I guess that's no longer a thing here where I live then. But it was hilarious because like, she's just kind of like, standing on top of the hoverboard, going super slow. Like I'm pretty sure if I sped walk, I could walk faster than that. But nowhere near as many as I used to, interesting. But anyways, back to, back to, uh, skateboards. 
Uh, I really wanted to learn how to use them. I was so inspired by Tony Hawk. Uh, and like it just it just didn't work for me. And I remember too. I remember too. Before I actually like really got into the idea of wanting to skateboard. I remember it being at Walmart. Uh, looking at the skateboards. And, you know, naturally, uh, kind of want to try it out, right? You kind of see the skateboard, and if you want the skateboard, you know, it's there, you can try it before you buy it. So, I took the skateboard off the shelf, and I put it on the ground. And, like, I'm just kind of like looking around, because, you know, I'm a kid, I'm kind of like, con self-conscious about what's happening. I stepped on the skateboard and I immediately slid and fell on my back. <laughs> and the skateboard just kind of like went fast and then slow. And I made a big thud noise. Oh. And I guess the worst part or the funniest part uh, to that story is. After I had fallen down, this random adult came out of nowhere and he was like, That's what you get! <laughs> I was like, What? <laughs> Yo, I was like, not only had I embarrassed myself, but this guy is like giving me a scolding. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, and it wasn't even like a. The, the dude wasn't even like a teenager like just trying to be uh, funny or anything like that. Uh, like it was a full on like adult looking at me and talking to me with stern eyes and voice and that's what he said. <laughs> that's what you get! <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> That happened to me when I tried my friend Healy's one time. Are Healy's really that, like, easy to use? I had Healy's, those were so much fun. You know what, I'll, I'll admit. This is me publicly admitting this, yes. I remember judging people with Healy's so, so bad, especially whenever I was with my friends, but low-key. I always kind of wanted to try them. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you want to try it, right? And I think the only reason why it was such a like taboo thing to want to say you wanted, at least around our friends, was because like it was it was all just like little kids who had them. It's easy to fall on your ass. Hmm. Do they make adult healings? <laughs> They're weird to get used to at first, and heavy with the heals? Really? Okay, so if you have healies, and let's say they're your, your everyday shoe, right? Um, and you do just like a lot of plain walking with them, can you uh, damage the wheel? Or is there like a protective cover that you can slide onto it? or like hide it a little bit so that way it doesn't get damaged. They do! Healy stream when? <laughs> Streamer goes into public wearing Healy's. Just the head you're moving like how hoverboards made you move before hoverboards pop off. Just going through there. Interesting. You can take the wheels out if you know you aren't going to use them. So are they like easy? Is that easy to do? I imagine it would be, or else that would be like a big pain in the ass. I remember they had one that I tucked away, and you could just pop them out with a button. Yo, that's that's next level. That's next level. That's crazy. I kind of want to like. <laughs> I kind of want to Google this now. And like get into it. 
Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, I guess we gotta go this way. There's a little key thing that makes it super easy to pop them in and out. Interesting. Fancy, I never had one of some buttons. I never had one, ever. But I guess that'll change. Guys, the giveaway I was talking about earlier is actually a pair of Heelys. I'm kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? That was the giveaway? A pair of freaking Heelys? It also makes you about two and a half inches taller. Ooh. Might just use the little shoehorn like fob thing to get the wheels out. That sounds really convenient. Wait, what? What do we have to do? Oh, we have to activate the power for source first. That makes sense. But, where is it? It's not- oh, it is marked on the map. I was gonna say, it's not marked on the map. Soap shoes giveaway? Huh? I mean, if that's what chat wants. If, if that's what chat wants, I will make it happen. You have my word. I mean, even Crystal confirmed that uh, they make adult sizes, so hey. If that's really what you guys are are uh, wanting, sure. Can confirm. Adult humans do exist? Oh, oh yes. I'm about to waste money on these guys. <laughs> they have a men's and women's sizes? You shouldn't have told me this, Crystal. Because <laughs> now I'm gonna go buy them. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Streamer, what did you do with your first uh, payout from Twitch? How about a pair of Heelys? I'm kidding, I wouldn't be that irresponsible with your money. I promise. It'll either go towards allowing me to live longer, or improving things for the stream. There's one where the souls let out? No way! No freaking way! It's like I'm a kid all over again, guys. Did you guys ever have that? The shoes that let up when you walk? Yes. I remember I had those. I remember they were blue. They were navy blue. And in hindsight, they were annoying as so. They aren't that expensive. How much are we talking about? 40 to 70 USD. Do they ship worldwide? <laughs> I don't remember. You don't remember what, Kapow? The shoes? Or you don't remember if you had the shoes? That's what our out normal sh adult shoes are? Yeah. Free international shipping? Yes? Are you trying to be like Futaba? Remember having the shoes? Gee, okay. Have you spent most of your life in Hawaii, or all your life in Hawaii? Because if you did, then I'm I'm sure you probably your own more flip flops, slippers. Yeah. I'm sure you you, you haven't worn shoes nearly enough. No. And when I type yes. <laughs> Guys, why is best girl glowing like that? Why is she glowing? It's because 
because I actually hit the S instead of the A. It works. They both work. I don't know whether they ship worldwide. Oh, damn. Well, I guess I'm buying them off Kijiji. I'm kidding. eBay maybe? That's hilarious. I had shoes as a kid though. Did you like wearing shoes though? That's the real question. Depends. Okay, so, uh, assuming you're gonna live the rest of your life in Hawaii, and you only had to choose- I mean, you only got to choose one to wear for the rest of your life. Would you choose shoes? Or socks? I assume to ship to Canada? Because uh, there seems to be a lot of stores that sell them there. At least according to the shop locator. Ooh, maybe there's one near me. S socks? I mean, you can use socks too, sure. I ain't gonna judge you. I ain't gonna judge you. Socks? You said socks. I said shoes or slippers. A lot of places seem to be sports stores. Ooh. Even better. I can't wear socks or something. I know, that's, that's why I said if you had to wear... If you had to wear one for the rest of your life, would you wear slippers or socks? And when you choose one, you will you will lose the the ability to wear the other. Do you have any of those stores near you? I'm sure I do. I'm sure I do. Thanks for looking into that crystal. I'm actually quite curious. Do you mean slippers or shoes? That's what I said! Slippers or shoes! I never- did I say socks, guys? God, this is like Frenchie and Uchi all over again. You guys wear slippers at home? No. Uh, only in the winter. You said socks twice? What am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, to answer your question, Endo Mike, uh, I only wear slippers when it's winter time. Other than that, I like to wear socks. Or or be or be barefoot. At least in the house. Outside of that, like definitely wearing shoes. Alice's jail thing is too good. I used to go barefoot until I noticed how dirty my feet got, started wearing slippers and doors. I will say this, guys. Um, for the health of your lower body and your feet, uh, try not to wear supportive wear too much. Be barefoot as often as possible. Is that why I have my back hurts off? Uh, it could be contributing to it, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Until, until I can see how your posture looks, uh, and how your walking posture is, I can't say for certain, but, 
yeah, your your feet play a big role into it. Cause like that, that's your base of support for when you're standing or when you're moving. I like barefoot. That's great. You probably have hella strong feet or legs. Oh. Take care of your body, and your body will take care of you. It's too bad we can't enjoy this music so much, because the enemies are just dying so fast. I wouldn't mind walking to the store barefoot, it's just dumbasses breaking beer bottles outside a lot. Yeah. I mean that's everywhere, or most places in the world, right? We're just doing stupid stuff. For the sake of doing stupid stuff. Oh. I'm gonna take a wild guess, Kapow, and say Alice is your favorite monarch in this game. Just a wild guess. Also animal poop? Yeah. I remember, uh... I remember one of my friends growing up, he had a dog. And he was a big dog, he was the German Shepherd. I remember one time, um, like after multiple times of visiting their house and hanging out, like I finally got used to the dog. And then we were in the backyard and I was still kind of like scared of him and he started chasing after me and I was like, oh, I got, I got so scared. And I was running around, obviously, and I, I stepped in his poop. And it was a big poop. People here don't pick up dog poop? Yeah. Same here, around my area. Same here. And like the the posts that say like you you have to uh, you have to pick up after your your pet, or else you'll be fined up to a maximum of four thousand dollars. Does nothing, man. Cause like unless someone catches you in the act, how do they know? It, how are they gonna know it's it's you? How are they gonna know it's your dog? It's not like they're gonna do a DNA analysis. I guess we'll save. Nope. Nope. Wait, what am I doing? Poop CSI. <laughs> I'm sure if you did that in retrospect for like a even a small neighborhood. It could probably add up to a lot of money. Like, no joke. ブンタンは覚えてるな。私とリュウジとモルガナがサーチライトの破壊だね。任せろよ。速攻でぶっ壊す。双葉が発金具を仕掛ける間、俺と誠、春が護衛する。シャドウは一体たりとも通さないわ
What HD remake? The HD remake of the Looking Respectfully uh, clip. I wonder if that's gonna uh, do as well as do as well as the uh, the original Looking Respectfully clip. Oh, animes. Wait, this is just the intro one again. That's really. I was trying to time it. Look at that, look how easily we're just smelling through these enemies. Like nobody's business. Oh, Crystal, I don't know if you're still here, but I have a question for you. Um, since you're playing Insect Wave, um, do you know if the, if the same upgrade system is being carried over from uh, Worldborn? Like in terms of the, the Kinsect itself? You look happier in the HG remake? I do look happier, and that's because I knew exactly what I was doing. And also because I didn't have shame. There was no shame. There was a there was a moment for like a split second in the original where I was like, oh god, what am I doing? But I just went for it. In the HD remake, it was like, yeah, whatever. I don't know anything about the Kinsek upgrade system. Has it been shown in any official stuff? Okay. For us, yeah. I mean, I just, I'm just looking for a simple yes or no answer. If you know the answer, Kapow. I mean, not like I'm gonna touch Insect Glaive for a very long time. So it's not a big deal. Eh? Is it not the same as most around the world? It could be. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Wondering if they're switching it up. I don't remember that. Who's this playing Riz? What? This was playing Riz was playing on the Switch, right? <laughs> yeah, he was playing on the Switch. It's only available on Switch right now, Kapow. Oh hell yeah. I don't know how I double stacked that. I don't either. I don't know what to tell you.
dude, they just got drop kicked. Shouldn't take too long. We don't need short time. We're done already. Oh, this music's so good. What's Ren's persona called? RC. I'll show it to you. It's cool. All the all the personas um, are based off of like real things. Our scene. A being based off the main character of Maurice LeBlanc's novels, Arsene Le Pin. He appears everywhere and is a master of disguise. He is known to help law-abiding citizens. Not that way? Right, this way. Oh, where the guns be at? Hog dog? Hell yeah. Oh, speaking of, Kapow. Five more days left. Is it happening or what? <laughs> 2D platform section? It is. This is, uh. Super Joker Odyssey. Five? Oh, five days left. Is it happening? Should be any damn day now? Hell yeah! His Twilight Prostitute. That, that name... That name will never cease to amaze me. Twilight Prostitute. Cool. No one's telling me anything? Well, I hope they give you a few days notice. Five days sounds like the ring. Wait, is that... Is that the same movie where they like, uh... Where they like, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, I have to go there first. Where they're advertising for the, for the movie was just like... Dude, she said oof. Wow, the localization team. Uh, but yeah, that's the movie where all the advertisements uh, didn't explicitly explicitly say it was say it was a movie, right? You doing a personal speedrun? No. If I was, we we're like still in the first jail. And we're halfway, or almost halfway, towards the the record. I guess it was a Japanese film first, I think. Interesting. That makes sense. The design and aesthetic feels like a Japanese horror movie. Speaking of, uh, I can't watch horror films. They're not for me. They're not for me. And Japanese horror takes the cake, man. They come up with some freaking fucking shit. Oh, it's 
It's probably gonna lag you. Yeah. Do you watch, uh, Do you guys like horror movies? You can't either? Oh, thank god, I'm not alone. The only thing I'm alo alone in in this chat is not road not riding roller coasters. Crystal, do you like roller coasters? I can watch thrillers, but I hate jump scare movies. Yeah, me too. I don't mind thrillers. Thrillers are cool. Alright. Jump scare or horror movies? Hell to the end of Not really. We have to have some other draw. It's gonna be the wash them. I can wash them with the psychological stuff, like the shiny. But most of the horror seems like something like scary, and I don't like that. Got it. Odd roller coasters. Ooh. I do not like roller coasters. I hate roller coasters. <laughs> Jump scares just keep me on edge the entire movie and make me not have a good time. Yeah, me too. Me too. Also, I like psych myself out a lot and I scare myself after the movie. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious in, in, in retrospect. Roller coasters are like your mortal enemy? Yeah. I'm gonna head to bed. Good night, Crystal. Thank you for stopping by again. Um, I hope you have a respectful and great night's sleep. Restful sleep. Uh, I know you're probably a little antsy because we rise tomorrow, but uh, I hope you're able to get the copy before uh, or earlier than anticipated. Maybe around noon? Hey streamer, hey Frenchie, how was you doing sir? How was your day going? How how has how has day one of your one month long vacation been? That's still fucking awesome. That is wild man. That is freaking wild. Rise and shine tomorrow? Something like that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get my copy of Rise, and then okay, I'm, I'm gonna wake up early, get my copy of Rise, come home, and go back to sleep. <laughs> Monster Hunter streams when tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> it's really fucking late. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, maybe around like 1 or 2 o'clock. How are you feeling? You seem tired? Yeah, yeah, I didn't get a good night's sleep last night. Um, cause I, uh, I was just anticipating all the stuff I had to do today. So I didn't get through, or I didn't get to sleep a lot, but I feel okay. Stream isn't gonna be as long as it usually is today, but, uh, yeah. Wait, I could just skip this. Productive day? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. More productive than it's been... This... More productive than it's been this week. Eh? Every freaking time this song plays. <laughs> Frenchie, did you watch any, um... Uh, did 
Did you watch any gameplay for Ross yet? Or are you saving it for yourself to experience? The music sounds familiar, doesn't it? Some? Man, I hope I hope Best Buy pulls through for you and delivers your game tomorrow. I really do. I'm waiting for the month's experience. It's gonna be one hell of an experience, I promise. I promise. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that fan service. Look at that fan service. Hell yeah. Nothing too spoilerish. Good. You will have the Mons experience tomorrow. Unboxing on stream? I mean, I would, but I don't think a lot of people. You're, you are definitely not going to be awake for that. But we'll see. I'm not opposed to the idea, but uh, I don't know if I'll do that. Mainly stuff we've seen before. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, I am. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be streaming. It's Monster Hunter and Mons, Mons the Hunter. Um, but yeah, oh, oh. Um, I'm gonna be streaming the first stream of the day. Maybe I like. 1.30, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so a lot earlier than usual. So for you, Kapow, that's gonna be like 6 in the morning. <laughs> 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. That's why I said, I don't know if you're gonna be awake for that. It's not gonna be like a permanent thing at that time. I'm taking the coins <laughs> now. Okay, if you wanna be around that bad for it, I'm not gonna stop you. Oh, by the way, Frenchie, I forgot to tell you this earlier, but I watched the first episode of Monica Magica. I watched the first episode yesterday. And let me tell you, I'm sure you remember that part towards the end. I was kind of like, like this is my this is my expression. I was like, yeah, how was that? It, it was interesting. It was interesting. I really like the animation. They do a really good job. I'm assuming Kapow lives in Hawaii. How did you know that, Frenchie? Are you stalking Kapow? So I'm gonna get crazier. I'm looking forward to it. I like it though. I like it though. The 808 area code? Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I guess we'll watch this. But yeah, I like what I saw so far. And it's only 12 episodes, right? So 11 more? Uh, plus the movie? You said the, the, the second movie? Third movie? Third movie, right? Third movie. Okay, got it. It's 
Kiari Pamu Pamu. Okay, we'll skip all that. We don't need to watch it. But yeah, Frenchie, I really like the animation style. It's really good. Just like this music. I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go. What kind of clown outfit? Clown outfit? I'm pretty sure her 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 design, um, Frenchie, is based off of a, a real Japanese pop singer, and her style is exactly like that. Play close attention to the show, though. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the one of the animes that you actually have to like really pay attention and understand what's going on. So, so far I am. Oh wow, yeah. If you want to look her up, uh, her name is Kiari Pamu Pamu. Like legit, her her style is almost exactly like this. And more fan service. Um, and she makes some like, wa whack ass music videos. Anyways, uh, we're gonna see Kapow's favorite thing here. She wants you to eat her ass! Made some work as these videos here. Maximum the hormone. I don't recall. The, bu the bubby thing, yeah. I mean, hey, if anyone who is watching this is into furries, it's all good, you know? I don't judge. I can, I can see the appeal. And I mean that unironically. I can see it, I can see it. Money? Yeah. Yeah, you were here for that. I remember. At least when we fought it again. Wow, perfectly on the ass shot. Dude, she went down quick. Use more jiggle physics. He did that death note opening, right? Maximum hormone? I don't know. Kapow's the only one who can answer that. This is a money shot for Kapow right here. Oh, right there too. Uh-oh. Where did it go? Where did my camera go? Guys, I lost my camera. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm trying to get it back.
Alright, alright, I had to fix it. I fixed it. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> I was- what I was trying to do was, I was trying to move- I was trying to move my camera. So it was like this, but it kind of just yeeted off the str off the screen. I guess I don't need to be there anymore. Baby, come back. Hey, you can blame me all on me. That song is unforgettable. Just like every member here in chat right now. All of you, unforgettable. Oh wait, we can just skip this. Oh, enemy. Skip. Cool. Dude, we're so far away from that. We have to max out the, b the bond points. We have to get up to level 99. And it's gonna take a while. Hell yeah, we're so we will save. We will save the game. So Frenchie, seeing as you um, are unable to play the game tomorrow, what are you going to do? What are you going to do instead? You don't know? I guess just relax. Oh, by the way, um, those pancakes. Of course, I mentioned pancakes and the song plays where I'm looking at Makoto's ass. Wow. Anyways, um, pancakes. Um, why, why did you make them so small? That was definitely that was definitely not filling. That was definitely not filling, right? Just, just leftover batter that you were using. Little dirty pancakes. Pancakes, yeah. I mean, the good thing is, uh, Makoto isn't flat like a pancake. She definitely is not, am I right? Hehe, <laughs> boy. I made those first, but just testing the heat of pan- uh, gotcha, gotcha. I was wondering, I'm like, no way, Frenchie's a chef, he would never allow this. <laughs> that I made regular size ones? Good. Oh cool, we got the RV now.
Yo, dude. How about no? <laughs> Sorry, Ryuji. Got a blast. Wait. Yeah. Saw we're ready. Yeah, oh. see you later. I usually never have time to make breakfast. Well, now you do. How wonderful. How wonderful. Oh, more animes. <laughs> Where the hell is on? Oh, there she is. I guess you're gonna have a great day tomorrow. Oh, is this the beginning? Um, ish. I wanna say like the first quarter of the game, maybe? Or I guess if we can split into eights, like two eights? Two eights of the way? Let's we'll skip that entire thing. Fan service, more fan service. Frenchie, now that I know you're a chef, what is your favorite dish to make? What would you consider the Frenchie special? See, see, look, look, this is this is evidence right here, Kapow. Joker has his phone brightness on blast, and it's nighttime. Not daytime. Nighttime. Joker's man, man. Joker. Joker's crazy. He's on some man. Faux show. Sure. Just love the flashbang lifestyle. Probably. A cook more so? Uh, same, same, but different. I would consider you a chef. I don't have a special dish. So you cook things with with the same level of uh, skill across the board. He could light up a stadium with his phone. Yeah. Oh, it's too bad Quill's not here. Look at that fan service, man. Did you learn how to cook on the job? Or did you already have like some skill in cooking prior to? Sorry if I'm asking questions. Sorry if I'm asking questions that are kind of like personal. I'm just very curious. Boy. You don't have to answer if you don't want to.
some skills from home because of your mother. Nice. Shout out to Frenchie's mom. Oh, we gotta do this again. Man, I don't remember who I need to talk here. Same here. You got your skills from your mom? Shout out to Kapow's mom. One time. Without her, we would not have Fat Man robes. I totally forgot where to go here. I pick up skills from anyone I work with, to be honest. That's a good way to do it, too. Wait, what? Oh, this way. I would say I pick them up pretty quickly. Fast learner, huh? It's a good skill to have. And I build them up to make it my own. Nice. It's good. Nice personal touch. Hit him with the Frenchy special. The little Frenchy twist. Bon appetit. Oh, speaking of French guys, I have this hilarious story to tell you. It is not my own story. It is, uh, it is a story of my cousin, uh, Ardam Kapow. This is this is a story of Ardam. So you know we're Canadian, right? Um, and that means we have to learn French. Um, I think it's like starting from grade 2 or grade 3, all the way up to like grade 9. And then from there, it's up to you whether or not you want to continue your French studies. I just went to grade 9, because I didn't want to do more French. It was too hard. Anyways, um, so we both went to Catholic schools, so you know, you gotta learn You gotta learn all the, uh, you gotta learn all the prayers in French, right? Uh, as well as English, and you also learn the, the national anthem in French. Uh, there's actually, there's actually like three versions of the Canadian anthem. The English version, the French version, and then the remix version. Which, some parts are in English, and then some parts are, uh... Some parts are in French. So you gotta know, you gotta know all three. And when they play the national anthem in the morning, you just kind of have to listen to it to know which one it is. Uh, I could never, they would kick me out. <laughs> I thought you were a child of God, Frenchie. I thought you were a child of God. How good am I in French? Not very good. Not very good. I didn't really like it, so uh, I didn't really make an effort to learn. I'm not that kind of god. <laughs> Frenchie, the more the more you spend time here, the more I learn about you, and uh, the more I like you <laughs> as a person, just like everyone else here. I've learned so much about all you guys. I would hang out with all of you. Like, really. I would hang out with all of you. Um, I'd get kicked too. That I was already aware of, Kapow. <laughs> uh, anyways, where was I going with this story? Um, right, right. So you gotta do that. Uh, anyways, uh, Ardam. RM spent uh, his first year of university 
in America. He actually went abroad for for you for university, um, and then he came back. But anyways, in his first year, um, when everyone like everyone knew him as the Canadian kid, and when they found out, they were like, "Oh shit, you're Canadian!" And, you know, they do the typical things like, "Oh, do you guys say a a lot? You guys just like hockey?" Stuff like that. Um, but anyways, he would go to a lot of parties because like that's his scene. That's what he likes to do. And like when you're in college and university, I mean, enjoy your enjoy your time, right? Oh please. Uh, I hope you're saying that to like what are you saying? Oh, please to like that I would hang out with you guys. I would hang out with you guys. Why the hell not? Anyways, he would go to a lot of parties, and it seems to want to open. All right, we need the uh, the sky thing, and the other thing. Um, and because you know, you're you're surrounded by. A lot of people when you when you start to go to college or university, right? So naturally, there are a lot of females. Do I like hockey? No, I actually hate hockey. I don't like hockey. I tried to get into it. It just it would never stick. Not to say I don't like anybody who likes hockey. It just it just never it could never stick with me. Um. So I guess I retract my statement. I don't actually hate hockey. I just don't understand hockey. No to the Canadian generalization. Well, that typically happens. Uh, that happens. I have another. Okay. Side story. Side story. So I was in. Um, I was in Buffalo. Uh, with one of my other cousins at um oh jeez what's what is the name of like the American winners I forgot what it's called I said it's a joke you don't have to answer oh well I answered anyways do you guys have winners in in the states I forgot what it's called oh my god marshals marshals Marshalls. Marshalls. You guys know what Marshalls is, right? I hope so, because you are you guys are from America. American Winters? Winners, winners. It's called Marshalls. There's a store called Marshalls. Do you guys know of it? Yes? Okay, so this was like a long time ago before... Marshalls had ever opened up a, uh, a store in Canadian. They have they have some places here now, but before they didn't. Anyways, um, me, my brother, and my cousin were kind of just like sitting uh, on the benches at the entrance of uh, Marshalls, and this like old white lady comes out and she stops and she looks at us. And she comes up to us and she's like, Are you fellers Indonesian? <laughs> and we kind of like just looked at each other like, No? <laughs> and she's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> and then she walked away. That was hella racist in hindsight, but in the moment, it was funny. Yeah, she literally said fellers. She literally said fellers. No joke. Americans always like that? Eh, it's whatever. Anyways, uh... Back to the Ardam story. <laughs> Indonesian? Yeah, that's how she said it too. That's why it was unforgettable. The moment was uh, Racism can't mind their damn business. It depends where you go in America, right? 
but uh, I'd say they're more like blunt about it. That happened to me once at me and my cousins at McDonald's. They asked you if you were Indonesian. Indonesian? Um, but yeah, anyways, anyways, so... Aladdin said we were Korean. That's the proper way to go about it. You troll them right back. Okay, so anyways, Lord, I'm sorry. Uh, we went on a huge tangent there. Um... But yeah, the art I'm sorry. So he li he liked partying, you know. When you're kind of like the token Canadian kid, I think there were like five on his campus, and he was one of them. Uh, so they're like, oh, cool. Like, do you like hockey? Uh, this, this, and that. And then you know he was trying to pick up chicks too, because you know that's what you kind of do when you're in university and college and entering it. Or at least some people do that. He was that type of guy. Anyways, um... I think it was a girl? I'm pretty sure it was a girl. Somebody, somebody. Somebody went up to him. I was like, hey, you're Canadian, right? Does that mean you can speak French? And let me tell you guys, Ardam was not the the brightest in the French, and the only reason why I know that, and I can say confidently, is because he used to draw dicks all over his fr te uh, French textbook. Like if you guys have ever seen the movie, um, what's that movie? What's that movie with Jonah Hill? The one where he has, like, the book full of dicks. Anyways, uh, super bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, uh, Ardime had his own version of that, and that book was the French textbook. So he never paid attention. I'm sure that was, uh, one of his least favorite su subjects as well. So anyways, a little, a little aside yeah, for the main story, but uh, so yeah, you know, he's trying to he's trying to impress people, trying to get girls, and someone came up to him and was like, "Hey, do you speak French?" And he's like, "Yeah, I do, I do." And they were all like, "Oh, can you say something?" And you know, he he was just saying like all the basic stuff, like, "Oh, bonjour," "Oh, um, comment ça va." And they're all like, they're all like taken aback and like so surprised and they're like, oh, oh my god, like, yo, he knows French, he knows French. And they were like, yo, can you like, speak, speak French? Like, are you fluent? And he was like, yeah, for sure. Like, what do you want me to say? And they're like, I don't know, man, just like start speaking to us in French. So he's like, all right. And this motherfucker goes, uh, Je vous salue Marie, plein de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. He's fucking reciting all the French prayers. And everyone is so blown away, thinking he's talking to them in French. Like, <laughs> and, and they think he's hot shit. <laughs> but he's just reciting something he's just like learned when he was in grade 3. <laughs> <laughs> what does that sound Korean? I don't know, man. It was fucking jokes the first time I heard that story. He fucking swindled them. He swindled them. Anyways, that's the story. About French. Doing the land prayers to pick up chicks. Hey, if it works. 10 out of 10 shrine. Not Latin, French. Speaking French. Je vous salue, Marie. Plein de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous avez béni à l'étude des femmes. Et je suis le fruit de vos entrailles. Et béni. <laughs> That's all I remember. That's all I remember. Frenchie, your French is probably a lot better than mine.
You know, speaking of Korean, um, the first sentence I learned how to say in Korean, like no joke, I was probably like grade 4. The first sentence I learned how to say in Korean was, you have a nice ass. <laughs> I don't know why that is, I don't know what I was thinking when I was younger. To, to, to want to know why or want to know how to say that, but I learned it. What do you know of Filipino? I don't know much. I don't know much. I don't even. I don't even understand uh, most of it. You have a nice ass. Yeah, exactly. Uh, say it in Korean. Ong um, dongi Um Strictly translated, that means uh, your butt is pretty, but it could mean the same thing. You know the bad words though, I bet? Of course! I think we all know bad words in a lot of various... Uh, various uh, a lot of various language. I heard tong? No, no, no. Ong dong, dong, dong. Like dong, but with a, with a deep accent, like dong, dong. Because the word ongdongi in Korean means butt. Yeppo or uh, yeppun means uh, pretty. And de, um, de connects the, the words. So, what about the butt? It is pretty. BB, magandang puat mo. Please, ma'am, sir. Please. <laughs> Cursing in French? I actually don't know any French curse words. Which is surprising, because I learned French for so long. I know what you're trying to say there, Frenchie. You're missing one letter. Pute? What did I just say? What did I just say? I'm not saying these words out of fear that I I don't know what I'm saying and I might violate some something. Man, guys, I remember when um you know this is a this is a continuation of yesterday's conversation. I remember when Vietnamese cuisine started to take off and like people went crazy with like restaurant names. Um, like especially when they found out the proper pronunciation of pho. It's not pho, it's pho. That was wild man. Like, coming up with like stupid restaurant names like like Fo King or Fo King and stuff like that. What is going on here? Okay, I was wondering. Yeah, Traxar knows. Traxar knows all about that. Oh, also. Uh, Traxar, you can confirm this as well. Confirm or deny? Confirm or deny? It's not a legit Vietnamese restaurant unless it has a has a number in its name. Because the place I go to is called Pho Ninety Nine, <laughs> or I guess it used to go to. Remember, remember Palawitulo? No, I don't remember that. Feels bad. For so one and Fa 999 pop off. Is that what your local Vietnamese restaurants are called? Not necessarily. 
Oh shit. My... My prior... My prior ways of thinking are about to be shattered. Thanks to Traxar. Lay it on me. I am about to ascend. I'm about to ascend. We are all about to ascend. <laughs> I'm not reading that on stream. <laughs> I know the rest are more dirty, but better the fires. I'll make note of that. Speaking of fuck, uh, tracks are. Do you, do you guys? Uh, does your family make pho uh, at home? And if so, how difficult is it? How difficult it is to make? They read it out loud on live TV. Did they actually? You're lying. Is there a YouTube video? What's a good home cook to get? Really? Is that on YouTube? Like that clip specifically? Dude, Ren's only level 86? Oh my goodness. We have four more levels to go. Can you drop it in the Discord so I don't forget? Because I'm gonna forget. They do? Making this in heart is what we're preparing for? Well that's good to know. If I ever decide in my life I want to attempt it. Now, at least it's not difficult. But anything I could come up with probably not nearly as any, as good as as what I can buy did you just watch the clip Frenchie clap I'm gonna have to look at it now I'm gonna have to watch it. Actually, yeah, I will watch it. Now, later, whenever. Point is, I'm gonna watch it. Clap, clap, clap. Clapping that ass. Clapping them cheeks.
Hell yeah. Shrekstar, you know I would. That's not even a question. That's not even a question. If anything, you guys should be like surprised if I didn't. Or if I wouldn't. Oh yes I would. 10 out of 10. Zero regrets. Every single time. Did the K-pop way pick Canada in the mid 2000s? Um, yeah, mid mid to late 2000s. Shout out to shout out to SNSD one time. They were my favorite girl group. Actually, they probably still are. Best girl group ever. Joker a lot. Why? This game doesn't have like uh, SSD great. Yo, I love one man. Hell yeah, tracks are guys, guys. I was freaking like neck deep in the K-pop world. No joke. I even fucking grew my hair out. But anyways, uh, yeah man, in almost, actually yeah, in all my time in university guys, that's all I used to listen to, man, K-pop. Literally, all, always K-pop. Anything new, I listen to. The whole album, not just the hit songs, I listen to. All the TV shows, the variety shows, I watched. It consumed me, man. It consumed me. And I would, I would happily do that again. I used to watch um, all of the variety shows that SNSD members would show up on. Hell yeah, I watch Running Man. Dude, Kim Jong Kook? Fuck you up any day. I stopped watching Running Man like probably like close to episode 200. And then it got super popular, like worldwide. I fucking love, I fucking love that they use the, the, what is it, the, ah, oh, it's not Beowulf. Beowulf? The Beowulf theme, as his like, strongman theme. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, it was so epic, all those moments. Kim Jong Kook reverse age. That guy's immortal, man. I even listen to Kim Jong Kook's music, and he's a ballad singer. My favorite episode, still to this day. Remember Rain? Of course, man. I wanna be a bad boy. I wanna be a bad boy. I wanna be a bad, bad boy. I wanna be a bad boy. Na na na, rain is on. The rain is on. Magic sick? Hell yeah. My first exposure to K-pop was like when I was really young, and the artist was Lee Hyori. She's still so sweet, man. She's still so sweet. To this day. To this day. To this day. Bad. Tracks are who? What was what was your favorite girl group? If you listen to anyone else but SNSD, and same with you and All Might. May I remind you, the only correct answer is Sonia Shide. 
I'm kidding. But yeah, Frenchie, I wasn't kidding when I said like I, I listened to K-pop. Like I, I really listened to K-pop. K-pop is like... That's nice. I don't know if you're saying that ironically. <laughs> I only remember Rain because of Full House. Full House? Probably Wonder Girls? Really? Damn, the OGs, man. My Johnny Man? They had some great music, man. K dramas were. Yo, k drones are so good too. Did you guys ever see Secret Garden? Wonder Girls are great. My favorite member is Yubin. But yeah guys, I was I was so deep into the whole K-pop thing. I I own all of SNSD's albums. Up until Up until 2014. Or actually up until they decided to to branch out into into Japan. I have all of their albums. And I hated that they had like, um, I hated how they, they had like cards that came with uh, their albums, which was essentially like a gotcha mechanic. Um, and you didn't know who you were gonna get until you got it. And my favorite member was Taeon. And of course, naturally, I wanted all the Taeon stuff. So, there are a few albums where I have multiple copies. <laughs> for that reason. And for that reason alone. I remember they even had like trading cards too, man. SNSD really had trading cards. I wonder if like, all this, all this merch that I bought over the years, I wonder if it's worth something. Uh, we don't need a treasure. It probably is, right? I hope. Oh, wow. He done got wrecked. Have you heard Siko? No. What is that? Or who is that? Okay, I'm gonna end the stream really soon. I said I didn't want to go long, but here I am, closing in on closing in on original time that I end. But good news is we opened up the. Uh, we opened up the, the the spot that we need to grind for. His song, any song, popped off on TikTok for a bit. I'm not on TikTok. I refuse. Uh, but yeah, if you want to share, you can always pop it in the Discord and I'll give it a listen. Absolutely.
gonna make it an early stream for Boss Army tomorrow? Yeah, so there potentially might be three streams tomorrow. Three streams. It'll go Monster Hunter, Rhythm Game, uh, and then, and then, um, either more Monster Hunter or Persona. Probably Persona. Three? Hell yeah, you heard that right. I like this music, so we're gonna end it here. Hmm. This sounds like some good music talk to as if we were on a radio show program here with your boy Mons. Late night with DJ Mons listening to some smooth jazz. Ladies and gentlemen. Three? Hell yeah. Um... Just so you guys can enjoy the visuals. Anyways, today has been a pretty productive stream. We got all the way up to the part that we wanted to be for Persona 5 Strikers. Um, I want to play more, but I have to get up really early tomorrow. Earlier than I have gotten up in a very long time. <laughs> and that's kind of embarrassing to say because it's not really that early. Anyways, um, uh, that's why I'm ending stream early. However, tomorrow no, 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 wait. Let's not get into that yet. Doing three streams tomorrow. Uh, today, Persona 5 Strikers. We got up to the point where we have to do the grinding and uh, really kind of go balls to the walls with just doing this one thing uh, to unlock the last of the trophies. So hopefully that will happen on stream uh, sometime this week or this weekend. Maybe even Sunday. I might even take Sunday to just grind it out. Um, and stream it for you guys, um, so that way we have more wonderful time to go together. Um, tomorrow there will be three streams. Um, the Techno Tazogen will still be at 5, 5.30. I don't know, I actually don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be doing Techno Tazogen, Muse Dash, or Groove Coaster. I'll be doing one of those three tomorrow at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. And then either Persona 5 Royal, uh, Persona 5 Strikers or more Monster Hunter at 12, 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. Um, Monster Hunter will probably happen around 1 to 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, most likely 2 o'clock, just to err on the side of caution uh, with that. And thank you for the link for the Discord there, Kapow. If anyone who is watching this or the VOD later and you would like to be a part of this growing amazing community, a uh, place with like-minded, amazing individuals that want to talk about games, share some memes, music, artwork, share whatever it is that they're up to, uh, make some friends and make some friends to play games with. There it is. If you're watching from Twitch, please consider uh, following. And if you're watching from YouTube, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much in advance. This means a lot to me. Dude, just make sure you get some rest before stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm absolutely going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to get the game. I'm going to come home. And I'm gonna go sleep and then I'm gonna stream <laughs> absolutely in that order in that order oh and food somewhere in between as well um nuggies nuggies uh, add points all five hundo all right guys or food during the stream Maybe, maybe. I want to kind of keep this place a little clean, as clean as possible, so we'll see. <sighs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, lurking, participating in chat, whatever it is that you did. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really do. I know I say the same thing every single stream, but th that's because I, I mean it. I mean it. Um, so... I'm going to be finishing the rest of the affiliate uh, stuff um, either right now or tonight, or not tonight, either right now or um, tomorrow in the morning. Uh, so be on the lookout for that if that's something you are interested in. Uh, I will DM you, um, Endo Mike, when that happens. 
Uh, hold on, hold on guys, hold on guys, don't go away just yet, don't go away just yet. So, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to look into, um, the giveaway and how to do it properly. How to make sure that, um, people who do enter the giveaway are Twitch members, are members of this channel. Um, if at that point in time we have some subscribers, uh, I will probably uh give some more um i guess uh entries for people who are subscribers in the channel um as a bonus uh and i don't know i want to include a lot of things but i think it might be a little too messy i was thinking like discord and youtube and twitter but i, I don't know it's gonna be a lot of things to to uh keep track of Anyways, guys, uh, whoever is watching this, and if you guys are watching this live, I will tell you what exactly I'm going to give away during this giveaway. I am so excited that I have the opportunity to do this. It is pretty damn big. I will, I won't, I won't lie. It is a pretty big giveaway. Um, but you know what? Fuck it. You only turn affiliate once, and I'm so grateful that we made it here uh, in the time span that we have, and that we've uh, met a lot of great people, and we've made a lot of great memories, and there's still a lot more to come. Uh, and yeah, it's big. And when we hit partner, yes, I'm putting that out in the universe. Partner, partner. I don't know when, but when we hit partner, there will be another um there will be another giveaway when that happens that will be even bigger than this one and maybe throughout the stream too uh i'm gonna you know do some giveaways here and there not nearly as big as the ones that for affiliate and for partner but um guys are you ready are you ready are you ready to know what i'm going to give away for uh this affiliate celebration Sure? Alright. Well, what I'm going to be giving away, guys, is one, one digital copy of Monster Hunter Rise Deluxe Edition. Whoever wins will get the entire game for free, not just the base game, but the, but the deluxe edition. It will be yours to keep, it will be yours to enjoy and to play and to have fun with. Uh, that's why I want to make sure that, um, uh, that's why I want to make sure that I do this properly. So, uh, you know, as many people have the opportunity to get the game and, and y'all can enjoy that. Uh, but yeah. I want to use it as a tool for celebration and also as a tool to further grow this channel. Um, but yeah, you guys are, are more than welcome to join if you have a Switch. Uh, if you don't, I guess I'm out. Kapow, you can still... Listen, listen, okay. For sure, I want someone to win who is actually going to play the game. However, like, if you win, it's up to you whatever the hell you want to do with it, right? Like. You can give it away, you could sell the code, you could uh, give it to a friend, you could save it until you get a switch, you know? It really doesn't matter to me. Uh, what matters is uh, I'm giving back to the community. That's, what, that's my main goal here, to give back. Um, because I'm a firm believer in giving back. Because uh, you guys made this possible, so I want to make that possible for you guys. Okay, well, now that that's out of the way, uh, I guess we can properly end the stream now. Much love and respect? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Honestly, 
I don't want to show any bias, and as much as I want to, I won't I won't put any bias, but Traxar and All Mike, I hope one of you guys win. <laughs> I hope it's one of you guys. I'm selling PC or trading for Switch. No, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I'll be sure to retweet when you do it. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, but yeah, just to reiterate, tomorrow, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock roughly, I will say in the Discord, Monster Hunter Rise, 5.30, um, or even 6 o'clock, rhythm game of some sort, and then night stream, 12, 12.30, either rhythm game, or not rhythm, either Persona 5 Strikers or more Monster Hunter, depending on what the people want. Whew. I've been your host, Monstropolis, aka Mons, and I hope that no matter where you are in this world, you enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Take care all, and I'll see you next time. Brother.